Hey guys, I'm Butch Hartman. Welcome to Speech Bubble. With me this week, I have two voices from my show, Bunsen is a Beast. I've got Mikey. Mikey Monroe! And Bunsen is a Beast. Don't push my Speech Bubble! Roll the theme music. So let's um, let's let's how, should we tell the audience how we met? How did we meet? Yeah. Sure. How did we meet? Ben, well, tell you guys, me. you guys met first, but we we no. all did. Did you? I met you no, first before? You oh, you met right. Him. Tell people how we met. Well, Butch and I actually met. I voiced Bobby Bugley. Yes. In a pilot called The Buglies that we yes. did with our dear friend Sherry O'Terry. Sherry O'Terry, uh, absolutely. God, what year did we do that? That was like 2014. <laughs> 1946. <laughs> Mets just won the World Series. That'd be fine. Just the fine. Chicago Cubs <laughs> won the pennant that year. I'll take a brandy on the rocks. <laughs> Everybody was named Mr. Novak. <laughs> Everyone wore shirts and ties, and they mowed their lawn in a, in a three-piece suit. It's Saturday morning. Hey, it's 10 o'clock. Would you like a drink? Come on in. I used to love that watching old movies. It's like, hey, come on in. You must be exhausted. Would you like a drink? They, they offered yeah, yeah. alcoholic Brandy drinks, so on the rocks. <laughs> Everything was brandy. Mama, where's Papa? Don't ask, honey. It's Sunday. <laughs> I used to love in every Twilight Zone when the guy would freak out. The person in the Twilight Zone uh, movie or the Twilight Zone episode would be like, "Something weird's happening." And they'd go to explain to their friend. You wouldn't believe it. I, I saw I saw myself running down. I, I think you've been on a heck of a toot. I what? think it's, like, you've been drinking for like a week. Obviously, you got you to dry out. That was the excuse for everything. We've been drink. I think we've been drinking for like a week and a half. I've been on a heck of a toot. I know. A heck exactly. of a toot. So yeah, we, we met. said yacht and tittle already. We met on we a, have heck toots a, now. a heck of a toot. Heck of a toot. They met on that show, and then I we've met. The, we've been uh, on the bug. We're not done with Ben yet. We're not done with Ben yet. Well, Hold so, on. Yeah, Just we, calm down. Just settle down. So We're I wear <laughs> sweats when I mow the lawn. <laughs> no, I was pretty much done. We met on the Buglies. We had a great time. We thought the show was going to get picked up. And it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't get picked up. So thanks, Ben. <laughs> Way to go. All my other shows did great. Ben shows up. Show doesn't get picked up. I'm anyway, good luck charm. <laughs> moving on. The show got bend. Moving on to Jeremy Rowley. Jeremy, how did you and I meet, Jeremy? Well, then we, I auditioned for Bunsen as a Beast. That's how we met. Mm -hmm. That's how we met. Did you get that part? I did. And the, uh, we Which got part to did know you get? each other. Uh, I think it's pronounced Bjornsson. Be yeah. Bjornsson. Welcome to Amsterdam. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, and the, I, we got to know each other a little bit in the audition because there was an actor auditioning who was across town. And you're like, I want to uh, have you guys read together. Can you stay? Because they're stuck in traffic. So you, were gonna, you were going to stay. Uh, yeah, so I stayed. Uh, and we just sat and chatted for like an hour because this person got stuck in horrible traffic. Right. So that was kind of a fun thing to be like, usually an audition's real in and out, real quick. Yes. You know, you do your thing, you leave. But yes, we, we, know like, the, we know usually they're not good. Thanks very much. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Thank well, you. No, that was Thank fun. you for your it was time. It was kind of like... Uh, we we were sitting there chatting for like a long time, waiting for this other actor. To there show you up. go. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And that other actor was Pierce Brosnan. That's, yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. TV's Remington Steele <laughs> came in down in his luck, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. Really, Re Remington Steele. He's a heck of a voice actor. Phenomenal kid monster voice. Exactly. I didn't see it coming. No, but we met on Bunsen as a Beast. You guys are amazing. I, mean, I cast Ben. No, no. But the cool thing was. Um, I always tell voice actors this all the time, or any actor. It's like, just kind of do something memorable, because you might not get that part, but at least they'll remember you. And don't be insane when you come in. Just be a nice person. Come in. Do the job. If you don't get this part, at least if you were a nice guy in the audition, we might remember you. And on the Buglies, you were so good. And we were casting Bunsen like two years later, and we couldn't find an actor to play Mikey. I had this one lady who did the voice, but I didn't really care for the voice that much. I'm like, I'm going to recast. Who's that guy? Who did the Bugly's voice? And then my casting director goes, That was Ben Giroux. I said, Get him in here. And bam, boom, there you were. Mikey Monroe was born. Exactly. How do you, how does he do that? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's like you're, it's like you're, it's like you're this little bug on top of the, a lot of helium. Uh, a lot I, of was, helium. I was going to say. Now, uh, and uh, Jeremy, what is your Bunsen voice? Do your Bunsen voice for us. Oh, he's in the Bunsen. It's like yours. <laughs> your head's about to explode. Yeah, your head's getting red. And then when you see Jeremy in the booth doing it, he like moves his arms all around. You yes. totally you're very physical with with the Bunsen voice, which is really yes. funny. I like to act it out. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Just calm down. Act calm down. Out. He's got his vodka. So, yes. Yeah, that's yes. nice. Good. Straight vodka. Hey, but um Can so Can you be quiet? <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you when you um, did you do a lot of voices before Bunsen? I mean, you've told me this story before, but tell our listeners what the story is. So uh, I 
I was I, I perform all the time at the Groundlings sketch right. and improv theater in Los Angeles. Now that's where many people get on Saturday Night Live, yes. except you. <laughs> yes, that's right, true. except for you. That's How many true. times, Jeremy? How many, How many times, times have you auditioned for Saturday Night Live? I tested three times. Three times. So I've been on that stage where they do the monologues. Right. Three times. Three times. Doing all my characters. And, and you everything. are his. Hysterical. I've seen you oh, do Groundlings. I, I, at the Groundlings, I've seen him. He is, and you've seen him too, Ben. He's, he's, he's hysterical. He's brilliant. It doesn't miss a beat, and it's it's great. In fact, it's sad you're on stage with other people, if you mind, <laughs> don't mind me saying, because they're not as good as you. Oh, yeah. There you go. See, see what I, I complimented you. Very kind. We're cutting this out of the podcast, but yeah, I complimented no, no, you. Yeah, no, that's cutting that right out. out. It makes sure. you seem weak. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta stay. Above. Countries, countries that are weak for five hundred, Alex. <laughs> <laughs>